What's going on guys? I'm here with a quick unboxing. I uh, was waiting in the mail for the other drone to come and some other RC stuff. If you guys remember, uh, I bought them from China, so they're going to take a cool minute to get here. But I got tired of waiting and I went to Walmart guys and I picked up this. Uh, I was even very surprised that it was there. Uh, you can see it says the Mach X. Uh, this does, this is a camera drone, my first camera drone from an actual department store. I never had um, a camera drone from any department store. So I'm going to give you guys a quick look at this. Try to see if we can fit it all in. So it's pretty big, pretty big guy. I'll try to see if I can get it to, uh, see if you guys could see what it says on the box. Let's see if I could get some better lighting first. All right, guys, so I got a little bit better of lighting, sort of. It's in a pretty big size box. You can see the drone is right here. Flip it this way. We do get some uh, previews on the box. Digital camera, removable blade guards, live stream video. Uh, go this way. We get another uh, preview of what's in the box. It's just, it's so big, the box, yeah. So this is what it looks like. Not bad. It was rather expensive, guys. I mean, it was kind of expensive, but it looks good. It looks decent, even for what I can get online. Considering what I spent, it does look pretty decent, guys, for that. For the price I paid. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. We've seen enough already. I will be keeping this box though. Okay, so I think that's it. There's no more tape on the box. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this down like this. And we'll go ahead and try to pull this out. Okay, so put that back here. We'll just leave that there. And here's the drone, guys. It's so So here's the drone. Pretty decent packaging. It's got some zip ties holding down the drone. So I'm gonna get my wire cutters. All right, here's the wire cutters. Pop that one and this one here. I think that's the only thing holding it down. So here's the drone itself. We'll go ahead and take a look at that in a second. And if we come to this side, we got our I guess our transmitter inside here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. There's a piece of tape on it. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the drone in this. That's just to fill it. And here's what's inside there. As long as all is that. And that is it. We don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it. So this is everything here, guys. I'm put that right there. That's our manual, which I really don't want to go over. Don't really need to. There's some screws in there too, so I guess these guards that are on here um, probably use screws, or maybe the propellers do. But you do get a full set and a USB charger. The battery is dedicated to the device, guys. So this looks like a decent charger. It doesn't feel too crappy, guys. It actually feels pretty good. So, and it looks like it has a low C end on it. You look at that. Looks like it's a low C end battery. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. All right. So here's the transmitter. I have had one of these before. They look rather big, but they're not that bad, guys. They're actually pretty good. And they'll give you a few tips here before flying. Um, back here is where you put your batteries in. 
so it does take a lot. And here's your phone holder up here. I love these phone holders. They're a lot better than any other ones. And uh, you can take this off by uh, unscrewing it. So you can take this off if you wish to use it alone. And uh, we got our trim, spin trim, directional trim. And then we got our auto land and uh, headless mode there. And I believe this is our stop button. I'm not too sure what that does. But we're going to check it out though. I'm going to, I can't wait to get this guy up in the air. Take it on the flight. So this transmitter feels good. It is not all altitude hold. You can see that. So uh, not too bad. Now let's look at the drone itself. So here's the drone. Right here. And it kind of wants to look like some sort of racing drone is what it looks like to me. Well, it's trying to. You can see its cameras right here. And it does move up and down, guys. See? See, you got a 720p camera, I'm thinking. And these are geared. So you don't want to crash into stuff because then, then your gears will get messed up. Here's where you charge it. Feels pretty good though, guys. It feels decent. It doesn't feel too bad. I don't know about these uh these guards. Yes, these guards do use screw uh Phillip screws to hold them in. So I'll probably take those off. It'll just waste more time. But it does look pretty good. I'm not it's not too bad. You've even got some little landing feet here. Your on and off button is right here. Oh wow, still has some battery in there. So you see you get lights it's for your orientation, but you could use the red propellers to know that that's the front. So the drone isn't too bad, not too bad. It looks pretty good. It actually feels good. It doesn't feel too cheap like the way I thought it would. It feels pretty good. Not too bad. So now I just got to see how this thing flies. So I'll have to do another video on that. It hasn't been windy and it doesn't really matter because I believe this one can handle at least maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour gust of winds. I'm almost certain. So this little guy is going to be a good, good little drone to fly in. Kind of gives you that aggressive race look. Maybe if these were black, it'd be better looking. I don't know about this red and these these things maybe if they were off it still looks pretty good even with the guards on it's not too bad so we'll have to do a flight video on this it does say that uh i should be able to get around 150 feet it says so, uh, let's see where are we at i know it said it in the back of here Unless it says it on this side. I know it said the map. Oh, there we go. See? So we got a maximum range of 200 feet and a maximum altitude of 120 feet. So that's not too bad. So I guess I'll have to do a another video on, a, on the flight test because can't do that right now that is kind of busy right now but I really wanted to do the unboxing because I haven't been able to get anything on the channel but uh, the other steps should be coming soon I did get um, um, some more brushless motors and uh, little ESC's that I really wanted to put on YouTube because I cannot find one video on this brushless ESC I bought um, I can't get one video, so if I put the video, then there'll be, at least if other people buy it, they'll be able to see how good it works. So I need to do the unboxing for that too, guys. So I'll be back with some more videos, and uh, we will be upgrading the Traxxas Slash soon. So, uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll be back.